Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Film Geek here, and something a little different. I just finished reading Superman Earth One. Uh, I saw a little article on Yahoo a couple weeks ago about this, and I felt very sad and, and ashamed by the cover in which Superman is fairly emo. He looks like a cross between Superman and Ed or Superboy, I should say, and Edward Cullen. Um, it, it made me very, very sad to see this happen. Luckily, it is a one-shot graphic novel, although they leave it open for a sequel. Um, it, I didn't hate it as much as I thought I would. Um, they didn't use the whole emo aspect as much as I feared they would. This is much more a coming of age, trying to figure out your place in the world type story, um, in which Clark Kent has all these great powers, but he just wants to live a normal and successful life. He, um, you know, he plays football very, very well. He um, uses his super intelligence to get a job at a research facility, making a buttload of money, um, but in the end, uh, he wants to be a reporter for the Daily News, or the Daily News, the Daily Planet, uh, even though um, he gets kind of rejected by Perry White because of his subpar writing. Um, and then, here comes the big tragedy ensues when an alien race that we find out is the cause of the destruction of the planet Krypton come to Earth looking for the last son of Krypton. And he has to make the choice of whether he will remain a normal guy in the shadows, or if he will reveal himself to the world as a super-powered powerhouse for good. Um, this is definitely worth the read. It's not nearly as bad as you would think by the cover. It is not as emo as you think. It's a little emo, but it's not, it's not Twilight-type emo. Um, it's more of just like, I don't know what to do with my life, which I think all of us uh, can say we've been through. Um, definitely a great read. I give Superman Earth 1 a 4 out of 5. Definitely check it out.